All right. So hey guys, it's me, 80s from Four. Today, guys, I'm gonna give you guys my match reaction to my Eric Nil FC Barcelona one. I have five takeaways from this game. So I was going to discuss the five takeaways. First takeaway is that Lewandowski is just a beast. In terms of goal scoring, he is up there and one of the best goal scorer, goal scorers you have seen in our decade. You know, he um I still think his big game credential is a bit underwhelming. I still think he needs to show up more in big games. But um, at least in terms of league games, he's very consistent, which is really important. And that goal he scored today was absolutely brilliant. The way he scored, the finish shot, you know, it wasn't like it's happened. You know, another thing that people don't talk about is um, playmaking. He can actually play make um, as a striker. He's not just a goal scorer, you know. That's more of one of his more underrated attributes of him. Number two is that Ter Stegen might be back. Ter Stegen is looking really good. Ter Stegen made a lot of good saves today, three saves in particular. He was a big reason why we won this match towards the end because Mario were really pushed him in forward and they were really getting, going for that equalizer and made some really crucial, crucial saves. Okay. Number three is that Barcelona can grind out wins. This has been kind of a problem we've seen in the past is that when Barcelona haven't been playing well, they tend to capitulate, right? For instance, when they score first, the opponent tends to get back in the game and make the comeback. Look at the game we played against Celt last season. When we played against Celta Vigo at the Baleiro Stadium, we were so cruise control that once they scored, we just couldn't control the game. So, yes, while we were getting um, dominated by the second half, they were probably the better team in the second half, we were able to see how the game, control the game, and that's what's very, very important is that ensure they have the stability, right? And that, I think, is very, very important. So that's a good thing to see Barcelona remain that control, have that firm control over the game, you know, even when they're not playing particularly well. Number four, the fourth characteristic is that um, um, we can still win even with our injured players. We had a lot of injuries today, a lot of injuries. You know, um, Bellerin didn't play the game, Kunde didn't play, Arau didn't play, Roberto was even injured, De Jong didn't play, and Depay didn't play. And even with all that, we were able to still grind up to win, which just shows how Barcelona can still win even when they don't have their best players. Uh, my final takeaway, I do want to give some credit to Mallorca in the sense that they played really well. I think it's a team that is definitely going to survive. I don't think they're going to get relegated this season, and I do want to give appreciation to them because the way they played, man, they were fantastic in the second half. They uh, created a lot of chances, and um, they definitely were uh, deserving of a point. They probably deserve the point more than we do. You know, but unfortunately for them, the difference between Barcelona and Mallorca is that Barcelona just have that quality. Because the quality today is what's their difference. The performance wasn't good, they play better than us, but their quality made shine through the end, and that's what's most and most important is that we got the win. Uh, and yeah, so our next game is gonna be against Inter Milan midweek game on Tuesday. Um, I will be joining my friend um, for his watch along. I'll leave a link in the community page. I'll probably leave a link tomorrow. I think tomorrow, actually, when he gets a stream up, I'll put a link there um, in the community page so you guys can join his live stream. And make sure you guys subscribe to his channel. Um, by the way, I'll leave a link um, in the community page when the game gets closer, obviously. Um, and there will be a preview on tomorrow. Tomorrow I'll be joining also be Elise's channel um, at 12 p.m. Eastern time. So please make sure you guys join. I'll be do we'll giving the Bars perspective on that channel. He's an Inter fan, so um, he'll be we'll be joining there. And then later today, tomorrow, I think I'll do like an off-camera video, um, like a pre-recorded video of how Barcelona can beat Inter Milan, the five ways Barcelona can beat Inter Milan. So those videos will be coming out tomorrow indeed. So make sure you guys subscribe to the channel if you're new out here. Obviously, the road to 1,000 subscribers is still on right now. We're at 958. Um, make sure you guys like it if you did enjoy. Um, also, co um, comment below your thoughts in the comment section below. Is there any other talking points we have for this game? Because, um, like I said, guys, the performance today was just probably mediocre it wasn't really that good um so there wasn't really a lot of talking points for the game um and yeah make sure you guys like the stream if you haven't already i'm not stream sorry like the video if you haven't already uh subscribe to my channel as well i'll um, make sure you guys join the platforms on twitter um make sure you guys join the platforms in the description below the link tree it will give you all the platforms you guys can um join you know the discord the twitter um and the twitch so yeah, I think that's going to be it for today. Um, and I do want to give a shout out to Ter Stegen, who actually broke his own record for clean sheets, I believe. So uh, that was very impressive. 500 minutes, I think he's gone. He's not conceded a goal, which is really, really impressive. So he 
huge shout out to Sir Stay. But yeah, anyways, um, that's gonna be it for today. Hope you guys do enjoy, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.